Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 135. That is, what is positive testing? Let me answer. Testing performed to verify the working of the application for expected conditions by using valid inputs is known as positive testing. To understand positive testing in a better way, we have to compare positive testing with negative testing. In case of positive testing, we verify or test the working of the application for expected conditions by using valid inputs. But in case of negative testing, we verify the working of the application for unexpected condition. Here expected condition, here unexpected condition, we are going to verify, okay? By using valid inputs here, by using invalid inputs in case of negative testing. So hope guys, uh, you understood what exactly is positive testing. Okay, when I compare that with the negative testing, right? So let me give a small demo of what is positive and negative so that you can understand even more better. So I'll take you to one sample application. So let's say I'll take you to the login functionality of this application. For example, if I have to do positive testing on this login functionality, how do I do? I have to verify the working of the application for expected conditions. What is expected? What the user will do when he or she comes to this login page? Generally, users will provide the valid credentials, right? To, to log into the application, okay? The expected condition is valid credentials they will provide and try to log in. So if they are able to log in or whether the user is able to log into the application or not with the uh, expected uh, valid credentials is something we test according to the positive testing. As part of positive testing, we test the login functionality like this. But what about negative testing? If I again go back to the login functionality, so as part of negative testing, what we'll do? We'll try to test uh, unexpected conditions, okay? The user, uh, we are not expecting that user will do something like this, okay? Such kind of testing is negative testing, guys, okay? So here, user may be giving valid e email address, but uh, user may give invalid password, okay? This, this is unexpected by the user, okay? No, we, we don't expect that user generally gives this uh, invalid password, okay? So, so in that case, how the application is working? Application should not allow the user to log in because the provided password is wrong, okay? It's an invalid. Similarly, uh, even though the password is uh, correct, the user may enter invalid email address, okay? If I enter some random email address and try to log in, this is also another expected condition where the application should not allow the user to log in, okay? Then sometimes users will be very crazy where, okay? They don't provide any credentials and still try to log in to see if the application is allowing or not. Okay, that is uh, too much uh, invalid. Okay, so uh, it's like unexpected conditions. All these are unexpected. So application may not be expecting this kind of behavior from the user, where the user will try to enter invalid email address, invalid password, with uh, don't give any credentials uh, to log in. All these are unexpected conditions. Testing such kind of unexpected conditions is called as negative testing. Okay, by using invalid inputs, uh, if you are testing the uh, verifying the application for an expected condition, that is negative testing. But if you are verifying the working of the application for expected conditions by providing the valid inputs while testing is called as positive testing. So hope you got some idea with this example. Now let's understand more about this uh, positive and negative testing. Okay, so uh, we have to perform so. Uh, during testing as do we have to perform only positive testing or negative testing? What is required? As software tester, we have to perform positive or negative. We have to perform both guys, okay? As part of software testing, we have to perform both positive testing and negative testing. And also there are other things you have to consider while performing the positive and negative testing. You have to know about positive and negative testing. That is negative testing will be performed after passive testing is completed first. Generally, whenever a software tester is uh, performing the testing, first the software tester will perform the positive testing. Okay, That is how the application is working for expected conditions using valid inputs. The software tester will first test. After that, cases are completed. Then only the tester will go for the negative testing uh, where, the, uh, where the tester will check the working of the application for any unexpected condition by using valid inputs. Okay, First negative, uh, first positive testing, after that negative testing. Okay? Then, so uh, negative testing uncovers the defects which are not covered by positive testing, okay? So negative testing uncovers the defects which are not covered by positive testing. Sometimes positive testing uh, will work very fine. It doesn't mean that the application functionality is working well. 
so when you perform negative testing after the positive testing is completed and positive testing has not resulted in any defects in the software okay but negative testing may result some defects in the software okay so that's why negative testing need to be performed after the positive testing to uncover the defects which are not covered by the positive testing and also it increases the test coverage okay when you perform both positive and negative testing as part of software testing the test coverage will be increase otherwise uh, it is partial testing only have not done the testing completely then negative testing takes more time than the positive testing you see valid inputs will be limited but invalid inputs will be many okay that is the reason okay expected conditions will be limited but unexpected conditions may be many okay there will be less expected conditions will be less unexpected unexpected conditions will be many that's the reason negative testing takes more time than the positive testing so these are all the things that i want to explain as part of the positive testing and the difference between positive and negative testing and what are things you have to know as part of positive and negative testing so i wanted to cover that so that is done guys okay so hope guys you understood uh, what is positive testing now and how to answer this if you come across this particular question in the interviews so that's all for this session the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you Till then, see you. Bye bye.